the Source Wall. Behind it is the single greatest secret of the universe. Hi everyone, and welcome to another marvelous video. The Source Wall in the DC Universe, which derives its name from the Source, is considered the threshold of space. First introduced in Jack Kirby's New Gods Issue 5, the Wall has often been conceptualized to be linked with the creation of everything. Yes, you heard me right. The Source is what created everything in the DC Universe, and the Source Wall hints at being the final barrier for this divine energy. Needless to say, the divine energy soon became an obsession for many tyrants and power-hungry beings who made attempts to cross the Wall in hopes of gaining the ultimate power of creation. As most of them who tried were cemented to the Wall for eternity, it included many Promethean giants and extremely powerful beings like Darkseid's father, Yuga Khan. With that said, many did manage to cross the Source Wall. So, without any further delay, let us begin. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. What is Source Wall? What is it made of? The Source Wall and the concept of the Source were showcased in both comics and animated shows of the DC Universe. It is a massive construct at the end of space with gigantic statues embedded in it. These included statues of dead goods, cosmic beings, and fools who made failed attempts to cross over. One such being was Yuga Khan, Darkseid's father and the first ruler of Apocalypse. He failed and was lithified into the Wall, but later, after eons, he managed to free himself from it. However, that too was futile as he tried again and embedded into it for eternity. In Jim Starlin's Death of New Gods Metron, it was revealed that the Source Wall contained the souls of the New Gods and was a barrier for the anti-life equation from entering the universe. However, that's not it. In the New 52, DC revealed that there was a lot more than just the anti-life equation. The Source Wall was the reservoir of the emotional spectrum and the essence of life that powered the power rings of the White Lanterns. It also protected the universe from the negative realm or the Dark Multiverse, for which when it was destroyed, the evil versions of Batman from the Dark Multiverse managed to cross into the alternate realities and wreak havoc. When the heroes managed to push these evil beings back into their realm, a crack in the source wall was revealed. The crack was sealed, but not before Perpetua, the mother of Monitor and the Anti-Monitor, managed to cross over. She was later imprisoned in the wall like the cosmic beings who had previously tried crossing it. What's beyond the Source Wall? Jack Kirby explained the Source Wall to be the barrier between the universe and the Source itself. It had all the answers and an unfathomable amount of power. However, in subsequent comics, there was more to it. Grant Morrison's final crisis showed that each of DC's 52 universes had their own Source Wall, which collectively acted as a buffer between the realities. However, several characters managed to cross the Source Wall, and that is how we got glimpses of what is beyond the Source Wall. As mentioned earlier, during the events of the Dark Knight's Metal, the Source Wall was cracked, and later Scott Snyder transformed into a giant hole revealing the existence of superior forces. In his run on 2018's Justice League, following the complete destruction of the Source Wall, he showcased the Steel Force, Sage Force, and Strength Force along with a new invisible spectrum known as the Ultraviolet Spectrum. Let's talk about how many characters who significantly managed to pass the final barrier and connect to the Source. Lex Luthor In the 13th episode of the third season of the Justice League Unlimited animated series, Lex Luthor managed to cross the Source Wall. The story begins with Lex Luthor and the surviving members of the Legion of Doom, a team of supervillains assembled to counter the Justice League. While they were at their headquarters in space, Darkseid arrived, destroyed it in the blink of an eye, and severed Luthor's connection with Brainiac. However, Sinestro managed to shield them with the help of his Yellow Lantern power ring. The explosion was noticed from New Genesis, and one of the new gods, Light Ray, arrived at their help. However, they stole Light Ray's mother box and used it to reach the Metro Tower of the Justice League. Although their arrival intimidated the heroes, they planned on working together to stop Darkseid's invasion. Soon, every member of the Justice League and the Legion of Doom arrived on Earth. They fought the Parademons, while Superman, Batman, and Lex Luthor arrived to confront Darkseid. The fight continued with Superman taking on Darkseid while Batman and Luthor fought the Parademons. Superman seemingly struggled against Darkseid, with Batman creating a small pocket of windows for his friend to take a breather. New God Metron arrived and witnessed the fight like an audience, and that was when Luthor asked him for help. He wanted to know the way Darkseid could be defeated. Not much persuasion was required as Metron agreed to help him find answers. He took him to the edge of space to the Source Wall, stating that he too never dared to cross this limit. However, Luther was determined, and he did not hesitate while diving in through one of the vents of the wall. Upon entering, Luther witnessed a series of alternating bright lights and patterns and finally crossed it. It was not shown beyond it, but in the next moment, Luther was back on Earth in his suit. He confronted Darkseid just before he was about to carve out Superman's heart with his kryptonite knife. Luther had arrived with the one thing that Darkseid sought throughout his life, the anti-life equation. The two of them witnessed the magnificence of the equation and vanished. Following this, the Parademons returned, marking the end of the invasion. Superman. 
Superman had once managed to cross the Source Wall, but not by his choice. He was mind controlled by Darkseid's ruthless torturer, Dasad, to do so. The event is showcased in the Torment story arc ranging from Superman Batman Volume 1, Issue 37 to Issue 42. Darkseid had lost his connection with the Omega Force after he was imprisoned in the Source Wall. All his powers were stripped, and he could not summon any of his might. However, it could be restored in only one way, with the help of the High Father's Wonder Staff and the Source Wall. Since it was impossible for any ordinary being to cross the wall, Dasad, with the help of Scarecrow, gained complete control over Superman's mind and planned on making him obtain it. There was no coming back for Superman, and the malevolent beings of Apocalypse intended to get him trapped in the Source Wall. However, just like in most of the stories, when Superman had no way out, his friend and one of the greatest detective minds in the DC character, Batman, had his back. As Dasad prepared Superman for the task, Batman arrived. They were all on the planet Tartaros near the Source Wall, which was shielded from the rest of the cosmos. Batman was soon spotted by Dasad, who ordered Superman to take him down. Batman was nearly about getting killed by the mind-controlled Superman, but he was rescued by Heman's daughter and Orion's wife Becca. Dasad's plan was successful as Superman managed to free the Wonder Staff from the Source and bring it to him. Before using the Staff for their purpose, Dasad opened a boom tube and made Superman travel to the other side of the Source Wall. Upon entering through the source wall, Superman gained his senses back. There was a complete void, and a gigantic image of the High Father appeared before him, stating that his life was over. Meanwhile, Dasad tried to double-cross Darkseid and take the Omega Force for himself, but as he obtained the unfathomable power, it overwhelmed him. Darkseid retrieved the Force back from him, but then it was Batman who used the opportunity in the commotion to take the Wonder Staff. Superman used every bit of strength in him to break out of the Source Wall, and when he managed to hand him the staff, he broke free. The Source Wall was broken, and the crack was so huge that an entire planet had to be placed to seal it back. Superboy Prime Superboy Prime was Kal-El from an alternate reality of Earth Prime, where superheroes existed as comic book characters except for him. After his parents Lara and Jor-El sent him from the dying Krypton, he arrived in New England seacoast town to Jerry and Naomi Kent while they were hiking through the forest. They adopted Kal-El and named him Clark Kent after the comic book character Superman. Throughout his school life, his friends called him Superboy, and Clark, adjusting to the mockery, maintained a small circle of friends. During a costumed beach, he dressed up as Superman, and while they drove down to Hampton Beach and sat by the oceans to catch a sight of Haley's Comet, a tremendous tidal wave occurred. Following a cosmic vortex, from the vortex arrived Superman, and soon Kal-El manifested his Kryptonian powers. However, there was not much time for introduction, and after the newly arrived Superman gave Kal-El a crash course of his powers, they managed to divert the course of the deadly tidal wave. Later, a deadly antimatter produced by the Anti-Monitor consumed several parallel worlds, including his. The loss was immense for Superboy Prime, and Alexander Luther made use of the opportunity to manipulate him to bring together a perfect Earth. Following this, Superboy Prime went on a murderous rampage killing several several superheroes and supermen of different realities until he was imprisoned in the custody of the Green Lantern Corps. However, the Sinestro Corps waged war against the Green Lanterns and freed him along with the cyborg Superman. Superboy Prime next captured Mr. Mix's Pitalek and Anataz Arataz at his base of operations, the Source, to use their reality-warping capabilities to make his own world. Superman Prime even managed to destroy the Source Wall, following which he arrived on Earth-15, killed Superman of reality, and destroyed Earth. Marvelous Verdict So we have finally come to the end of our video, and we hope you have liked our content. The Source Wall and the concepts of the Source have been evolving since its introduction. It has been described as the source of all creation of the DC Universe. Although it has not been confirmed yet, the several forces emerging out of the Source Wall might be portions of all power of creation. Leave your views about the Source Wall in the comments and have a good one.